Hi everybody, welcome back. So in the previous video, we just learned about complex ions. And in a lot of cases, forming a complex ion has a very favorable equilibrium constant of Kf, a lot greater than one. So we can use that to our advantage here. A lot of ionic compounds we've been studying in this chapter for solubility equilibria weren't so soluble in water. And so we can increase their solubility in the presence of Lewis spaces that form complex ions. So let's look at this example here. Normally, silver chloride is insoluble in water. However, if we add ammonia, which behaves as a Lewis base, it's a great ligand for complex ions, it does indeed form a complex ion with silver and begins to dissolve the silver chloride. So through the addition of this Lewis base, it helps to dissolve the silver chloride in water. And we can see this, what's in our beaker, right? Now we see silver chloride, it's just precipitating out of solution, it's crashing out. However, if we start to add ammonia to that solution, we begin to see it become more transparent, right? And that's due to the fact that these um, complex ions are forming in solution and they are soluble in water. So let's do the math for this. All right, so silver chloride, if we wrote the solubility equation to break up into silver cations and chloride anions and looked up its KSP value. It is 1.77 times 10 to the negative 10th. Not very soluble. However, as we've just said, adding ammonia increases solubility. And let's write that complex ion formation here. Once again, I'd have to provide this equation for you. I don't expect you, if you're taking my class, to predict um, complex ions and how many ligands are coordinated to the metal center. I also have to provide the Kf. And in this case, it's 1.7 times 10 to the 7th. So if both of these are happening solution, then let's add those equations up. I'm going to write them down again. Plus the formation of the complex ion. Then we can cancel out like species on opposite sides, so the silver here, and the overall reaction we would have would be silver chloride plus ammonia gives you the silver ammonia complex ion plus chloride. And when you add up reactions, what do you do to their equilibrium constants? Excellent. You multiply them. So Ksp times Kf is equal to 3 times 10 to the negative third, and that's equal to the equilibrium constant overall 
for both these reactions taking place to give us that overall reaction. Right, so we look at the K and the equilibrium constant, and it's not greater than one, so not everything will be soluble in solution. However, it did increase the solubility quite significantly by the addition of this Lewis base. And so basically we're coupling this reaction with the original reaction to help more of the silver chloride go into solution. And we can see that it made a huge difference, difference in the equilibrium constant overall. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.